Facing mobile quarterbacks is probably one of the most annoying things to play against in Madden 22, especially when it comes to escape artist quarterbacks, who are people that essentially just run around every single play, throwing the ball at ridiculous angles, and completing just about every single pass. I'm Mad Money Shot, and today I'm going to show you guys the perfect defensive setup to stop these mobile QBs and essentially take away their entire offense with one defense. As always, if you guys want to see more tip videos like this, hit the like button, let me know in the comments section. Other than that, let's go and get right into the video. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable butt coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Now the defense I'm going to show you guys today it can be found in the Miami Dolphins or the New York Giants defensive playbooks. These are the same two playbooks I've been using pretty much the entire year. But ultimately you can find this in any playbook that has the 3-3-5 wide. I like the Dolphins slash Giants because it has a good combination of plays, formations like the 2-3-6 Sam, there's some very good blitzes that you can use in this particular playbook, blitzes like the DB Fire too. This is probably one of my favorite setups and I've shown this in videos in the past. Ultimately though, this play is a little bit deficient because a lot of times for some reason, the blitzing cornerbacks will decide to run into blockers even though there might be a free path outside. And if they do get caught up, they typically aren't fast enough to catch Lamar when he turns the corner. And there's also no guarantee that your opponent's going to pass. I mean, you can see there's some giant run lanes available here. And if your opponent is savvy enough or patient enough and they don't force the run play with Lamar, they'll typically just switch over to an inside zone and beat you inside where these huge run lanes are. So even if you have success with the blitzes, a lot of times you won't have success with run defense, which is ultimately also very important. QB contains don't typically do a very good job either. Even on this next play, you'll see that this defensive end on the right side here will do a pretty good job of bouncing off of the block and immediately getting pressure on Lamar's face, but he still has the option to throw either short or medium passes. Even if I hard flat, a lot of times the quarterback will still be able to roll around enough to find an intermediate pass to complete. So while blitzing and pressuring the quarterback sometimes does work and you will have successful plays, ultimately it's not a long-term way of having success against mobile quarterbacks. So to me, the best way to have success on a consistent basis is through this concept here, which is a Mabel concept, where you can see I have seam flats and hard flats on both sides of the field. Flooding the field with zones like this pays dividends in multiple ways. Number one, it'll take away the short routes, which is very important. You can see right here, the short route is not there. But number two, you could always hit the R3 or the right click button, which is pushing in the right stick on the analog controller and send that hard flat defender towards the quarterback the second he leaves the pocket. Now you can see on this play, it's a slower defensive end and that's why he has a hard time containing Lamar. He does get inside, he does get the first down. That's what makes the defense I'm gonna show you guys so important is because ultimately you can have more speed. Now in this next play, he's running a hurry up so I really don't have a choice to change. I basically just hard flat everybody. So now I have my safeties, my cornerbacks, Everybody's in hard flats because I know this guy likes to leave the pocket and run around. So that's going to give me a much better defender option to basically take away these running lanes. You can see my cornerback comes up, makes a hit stick, and we easily get a fumble, which is something quarterbacks are known to do at a higher rate. Now, to me, the best defense to use consistently to have success in this way is going to be out of the nickel 335 wide, and that particular play is going to be the three Sam Will Blitz. This defense is very versatile. It's been one of the meta defenses for a couple of Maddens now, but I'm going to show you guys a way that you can use this have a lot of success against mobile quarterbacks. Number one, you're going to want to make some substitutions. You're going to want to have your outside linebackers, your fastest outside linebackers, maybe even linebackers that have some good zone coverage. Typically, like 3-4 linebackers aren't going to be very good in zone coverage, while 4-3 linebackers are going to be better in zone coverage. Those are the type of guys you're going to want to have out here. So if you're in a 3-4, you're probably going to want to use middle linebackers. For me, in this situation, I have Jordan Hicks, who's a pretty fast linebacker with good zone coverage, and I also have Isaiah Simmons, who's going to be my fastest one. These are going to be my two outside linebackers for this defensive package. You're also going to want to set your coaching adjustments up a certain way. Number one, tackling. I would probably put that at aggressive from time to time to try to get some hit stick fumbles like you just saw on the quarterback. Quarterbacks fumble more often, so that's very helpful. I wouldn't change strip ball to aggressive because you tend to get more penalties. But tackling, you basically just, the, the downside of that is just missing tackles, which I'm trying to get the ball at the end of the day, so that's way more important to me. The number two thing is going to be setting your zone drops to zero because ultimately I'm going to be using these zone drops 
for pressuring the quarterback, I don't want them to be very far away from the line of scrimmage. I want them to be as close to the line of scrimmage as possible. Then to set up this defense, you just have to put your outside linebackers on hard flats. It's really simple to do that. The quickest way is to basically hit the D-pad to the left twice. If you do that, it brings up select defender. You choose which defender you want to put into a hard flat and put into a hard flat. It's really that simple. You can see now I have my Mabel concept set up on both sides. So no matter which direction the quarterback rolls to, I can immediately press in the R3 button and send the nearest defender, basically cutting off his ability to either scramble or, like I said, I can leave them out there to basically cover if he's going to throw the ball. And if we watch this play and we see how the play sets up, you can see that hard flat is all over that tight end. That is really not an option. And my opponent wants to roll that anyway. So the second he does, I push in that R3 button, it sends that defender after the quarterback, and he could probably run and pick up a couple yards before the defender gets him, but for whatever reason, he decides to throw it up. Gotcha, bitch. And since there is no shorter intermediate route, he has to throw deep. I get a very easy interception, and I'm going the other way for a very easy pick six, which I was celebrating the entire way. You can see, I mean, I just wanted to rub it in. I didn't even care if I scored. The fact that I, I basically shut down that the guy's annoying offense is what I was celebrating. This defense in this scheme though is only as good as your timing. That's the most important thing. You can see on this next play here, once again, this guy's dropping back, he's covering his zone. The second I see that light up under Lamar Jackson's name, I push that in because I know he's leaving the pocket. And you can see we're right after the quarterback. That's how you basically shut these guys down. Look how quickly he gets after the quarterback. After that though, you got to make sure that you use your any short routes or any intermediate routes. That's the most important part is your defensive user. So you take away these short routes. You can see I was all over that. He tries to throw to it anyway as he comes back because he has no other choice. And the defender coming on the blitz defensively knocks it down. The success of this play can vary based off of personnel as well. I wish I had Isaiah Simmons on both sides of the ball. If you're playing Mutt, you'll be a little bit better off. But ultimately, you can see the difference on this next play. When I send Isaiah Simmons, he drops back into coverage once again. The second I see that name light up, I send him on the blitz, and boom, look how quickly he gets to the quarterback, is immediately in his ear, and once again forces a very bad throw, which nope. results in almost another interception. At the end of the day, though, this defense is only as good as your timing will allow it to be. You'll see on this next play, I don't push in the R3 button at the right time. You can see Lamar Jackson's about to roll out. I'm lazy on the sticks. It's third and 10. I thought it was more important to protect the pass. Based on the fact that I didn't push in the R3 button, he's about 15 to 20 yards away from Lamar Jackson. When Lamar Jackson's going to make that play, or at least he almost does, as he almost runs for a first down, which brings up a fourth and one. He tries to go into a hurry up so he can keep me in this defense, but he doesn't realize this is actually a very good run defense. This is a defense that easily allows you to shoot gaps and try to uh, stop inside zones, which is exactly the type of run formation he is in. Ultimately, to do that, all I have to do is shift the defensive line to the right, which typically just hitting the RBR1 button and then right on the left stick. Then you just want to stand off to the left or right, typically just far enough back that the offensive line won't pick you up. Kind of like I am here, this will allow you to sneak in untouched and basically stop a lot of run plays. Get over here! This definitely works best in obvious running situations, like here he's in a two-point conversion. On this particular play, I didn't even set up the full setup. I didn't even make my shift. And I'm also using a safety, but the most important part is just to make sure you're standing back into the left or back into the right, kind of like I am right now. You can see, once again, the linemen don't pick me up. I just shoot right in and we get an easy stop, basically shutting that down. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more tip videos like this, or you have an idea for a future video, if there's something that you're struggling with, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.